Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Robocraft 2, a weird type of mecha game, kind of a building game here. In this video, I'm going to be going over the current state of the game. I want to go over a couple things that I want to see in the game, what I think is doing really well, what I think is not doing well, and of course, a couple hot takes. Before we begin, please help us out by hitting that subscribe button and please like the video. And of course, hit the notification button to check it out when I upload the next videos. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So right now in this little dialogue, they explain that they're going to be doing co-op PVE. Be like some bosses in the game. That'd be kind of cool to see. A lot of things that were previously impossible to do back in the day so maybe we'll see some new features never before seen or maybe some new parts or how things interact the there was a previous robocraft 2 that one didn't do well it was just kind of just way different and a lot of players definitely wanted to go back to the roots of robocraft 1 but that, that was a long time ago and now we have like a mix in the community where we have players who I, I like to call them like the beginning robocraft players versus the end robocraft players the beginning like myself I put about five to six hundred hours in the game and obviously my crafts were I don't know completely different than how they would look and in, um, in the final and moments of Robocraft 1 that game is still out I say final moments but that game is still out but it got to the point where a lot of people abandoned ship and the people who are playing it they're a different type of player than, um, the, than the OGs here let's go ahead and take a look at what was different so right now you do see the massive um, base here I believe I'm in the final tier base because I fully upgraded my base so it does change your environment when you get a ton of space to build and you can build super high as well so as you see here now we have actual pictures I don't know I feel like these pictures should do a little bit more maybe these symbolize there are gonna be something in the future I'm being put in but I feel like maybe is this like showing me this is the highest current level of tier for this particular block I can do let's go ahead and see if that's correct so tier 8 that one's a picture of a tier 8 part so I'm not really sure if that actually coincided each part can be level to level 10 so it kind of promotes playing the same level over again like for example this is why these are uh, mastered here and I have more shielding given by each of these blocks um, and as you level these things, they get kind of better in their respective rights. Now, one thing I like to stress about this game that's different about the old games and what a lot of people kind of don't like about this one is the fact that like, well, they have that in mind. This game has 10 tiers of play. The game is kind of designed to make you and almost promote you to play in different tiers rather than just go to the tier 10 and just grind out dust. Like that's kind of like I wasn't before. Like there was no reason to be at lower tiers only than the fact that you probably didn't have enough funds and you had to use lower tier parts. And that was essentially it like when i came back i was already tier 10 and they introduced new pieces so i wasn't able to just like farm like really quickly the lower level stuff but these were brand new so i obviously had to start all the way down here and tier two work my way up so it promoted me at least going back and trying new things and i kind of actually kind of appreciate that see right now i have to still work on my um my tier sevens in order to go, go up there when you go to the galaxy map you were actually able to see the possibility of the rewards and the rewards show these um materials now in this game if you didn't know you now have to craft essentially your blocks so um in order to get certain pieces you may have to go to like tier five you know they may not always translate exactly like in order to get this piece here this polished uh, zephyrite i'm doing tier six because you have the highest moderate chance but if you go to tier seven it's a lower chance to get those if you go to any of the tiers they just don't appear and if you go to tier five it's still a low chance again so the best way to get this one is of course in tier six so you might have to just stay in tier six farm it even if you're farming the mats for a tier eight weapon so it kind of promotes you to do certain kind of tiers. So keep an eye on this. This I'm actually not too mad at. This is one of the hot takes where a lot of players are like kind of like loving this, hating this. It's not as bad as people are making it seem. There is one thing that is that did make it kind of weird. And it's one of the brand new features in this particular beta here. And that's when you um, actually destroy pieces. So here you have your blocks here. So at the very top here, there's this atomize button. So if you click that, it's going to go to this atomization screen. Here's all the pieces I own. So if I go for a tier 10 block, for example, if I click that, at the bottom of the chart, it's going to show like a little ball. I'm going to get 90 of this particular material. And But if you scroll over to all the guns here, they all have different material pictures. Now, they all look really similar. I do see how they're different, but man these are kind of confusing and there's no way to see your inventory on these items like right here there's no inventory for these so it gets kind of weird i guess same kind of deal here i wish there was maybe somewhere to show like all of your currencies while you're on this screen um, rather than just having to hover over everything now if i wanted to create one of these pieces i had to go here okay and then you create your materials and you create your materials with those baubles that you get here so for example if i wanted to create this 
I can go ahead and create that. If I wanted to create the polished, I can go ahead and create a lot of those. I actually need a lot of these. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So you create them and you're gonna use your polished matter to make it. So that's not too bad. If you wanna get rid of stuff and you have the possibility of doing this. Dude, I would say jumping in, this was a little bit kind of daunting. I didn't really get it. And I was like, if I'm tier 10, I should be able to just get whatever I want to kind of deal there and it wasn't necessarily the case. So there are some new pieces in the game. Uh, first off, we're gonna have cosmetic section where right now we only have the flag and this is really cool. It kind of has this physics on it. So definitely want to put some of these and there is a cosmetic CPU this time. So you can only put a certain amount of cosmetics on your craft. I'll show you that in a moment. Um, we do have our um, plasmas introduced. These are different in our rail guns are introduced and our many guns. We, these are like the OG four guys. Like these are the OG four weapons, but they work differently. The guns for the most part work similar to the old game. These work differently in this game and the rail guns I don't know. I would say they're still super strong. They seem, but like they pierce a lot less. With the advent of the shields and how the shields work, you may need to first eat through the shields. It, it depends on how you want to use your rails. How I use it, for example, I use it just to kill the shields, and then I go into using my regular guns. Um, whereas other players who just, if they just want to use rails, you might have to use a couple pop shots in order to get the shield off first, then get those shots. In the old games, you can really just literally just one shot everyone um, if you find the right spot because it just pierces is through you hit that one brick that's underneath your pilot seat and then they're just gone that's really it the miniguns are essentially how they used to be but they remove the the auto fire which i don't mind at all like like really get really good at using it the difference in this game than the old games is that these actually have a different heal rate to shielding let's go ahead and take see what that looks like so we do have a lot of stats here but right now it says block healing and shield healing so they heal at different rates so they may heal blocks faster but shields faster and it depends on who you're healing like for me for example i usually use lower tiered blocks because i like to invest in more shield so you just heal my shield but my block health is super low that's just how i kind of like to build it like for example my build right now i am in tier seven but all of my blocks are tier four. Um, this isn't the best build right now. I would usually wouldn't invest um, my maximum CPU, but I've just been kind of using this as a, like a leveling. But for example, I would usually stack up as many blocks as possible to get to the maximum amount of shielding. This may, may not be the best example of what I've been doing. If you break my shields, my hull itself is weaker. So these are the kind of thoughts that like you would never would have in the old Robocraft of having to like certainly balance certain stats like that and the old game was like build your hole and then like use these things to cap off certain areas with the shield and of course if they hit that shield off um they'll just shoot through it you almost just were just adding a plating to that area and me personally i did not like that i like this design way more it's way more functional it brings the reason of using the bricks back um i will say one of the hot takes is a lot of people complain in the steam lobbies about why do players use a lot of blocks when building their craft that's kind of a weird thing to say in a game like robocraft where i would almost assume that the developers when they first made this game they thought hey let's build a game where build a bot with bricks and blocks and then you can take it into battle and people are like Oh, that's kind of dumb. I know. So that's kind of awkward that people feel that way. Um, as the game progresses and gets better and as more parts are introduced to the game, guys, I um, especially in higher tiers, you're going to have a lot more weapons to choose from. You're going to have you're going to have a lot more CPU limitations um, right now in lower tiers. Your bots can tend to get larger because the CPU usage of each weapon is lower. But when you're in higher tiers, each weapon is going to use more CPU and thus your bot, your bot hall is going to be a lot smaller. So then like balancing constraints become a lot more um, prevalent. And then when you get more pieces in the future, let's say they bring back radar, for example, or any kind of like special piece, who knows what they're gonna do. Um, they may bring like blink in all those special ability pieces where you have to kind of hide it inside yourself or keep it in the back. However, it's gonna work. That's gonna also into your CPU. So you all of a sudden it's like, now you don't have any kind of shield. So, or, you know, so how you wanna build your craft is smart. So if you wanna build it with hovers, right? Right now I'm using it because I wanna be agile. I would like to strife side the side i just want to i want to segue to one of the features in the in the game here that may be new it may have been in the old game i'm not really sure but it is the tank treads the tank treads now provide a significant amount of shield points um compared to what they did i think they provided some but now they provide a good amount of shield points here um for example tier 10 um each block will provide you 2500 shielding which is pretty good it used to be a point where like i was asking why would you use more wheels with your tank treads because they each provide 
for only like, let's say for example, for this one is 16 CPU, they provide you 64 shield points where um, one CPU block um, at level one would only provide you 10. Um, now more, more blocks, of course, give you more shield, but at the same time you need movement pieces. So if you wanna keep your shield high while having movement, you would use the tank treads. Um, in my opinion, if you wanna use wheels, you have good speed, but you don't get any um, major benefits out of it kind of deal there. And of course, hover pieces, you get more movement options, but you get even less health on your hovers. If you guys play hover, you kind of understand with if, if you're if you if half your hovers get knocked out, you become imbalanced and that's pretty much it for you. <laughs> you become a flipping mess like a coin flip. All right, let's go back to the weapons here. The plasma cannons. I actually love how these are. I know a lot of you guys are probably rolling your eyes. Oh my god, he's kind of, he's kind of that guy. Everything everything new is so good. Think about it. These guys had a long time and they seen all the comments and they they kind of are seeing what's worked and I feel like this is good. These are going about it very well. This is more like your burst fire heavy damage weapon that doesn't shoot far. Like it kind of like lobs these plasma balls. As you can see here, I have three weapons on my my craft. That's also one thing you can do. So I can switch by pressing the two button to my to my plasmas, I can switch to go to my railgun, and I only have one railgun. I'm a versatile um, kind of craft here, and I can move very well. So, for example, if I want to just get a pop shot here, pop shot there, and usually I'll use that to knock out someone's shield, and then I'll swap to my um, to my guns here. And if you guys didn't know, the reason why you have more weapons is so you can max out your fire rate, but there's always a cap on fire rate. For example, the cap on the, on the regular SMGs is about six guns. Anything over six guns, the fire rate would not increase. So if you put like a hundred guns in your unit, you're not gonna get so much more faster. They're always gonna shoot at the same pace. There's a, there's like a lock, but of course there's redundancies. Like I mean, if your parts get knocked off, you having you having more guns allows you to stay into the fight. But I try to go into more shielding, so my craft is usually bigger, so I I don't have to use as many guns as possible. I just rely on my shield being a lot um, very high, so I use the lowest amount of guns that I can. I have a lot of SMGs as I say that, but um, for my plasmas, for example, I think two is the maximum fire rate. As you can see here, guys, I'm shooting not all at once, and that's like the major changes between these ones and the old ones. Um, there's no way to shoot all at once. There's no like alternative fire, at least that I'm aware of, where you can shoot these all at once. And I don't mind this because this gun has a different use now than these ones. I'm just gonna pause right here and say, I think a lot of people in the comments just really want to troll other players. The things they want are just like wanting to one shot. We lost the ability to one shot each other. So <laughs> it, it, they get so upset about it. Trust me guys, you can still kill someone very, very, very fast. And right now we can't choose where to deploy at. It's just kind of randomly. One cool thing is here, you do have slots for your friends. We have now our friends list here so you kind of can see that like my giant tablet my phone tablet here and of course we have this cool tab here you go to your ops room and you can change your banner now um right now these are just kind of like everything you have normally so this would be kind of cool to also be able to upgrade your frame but it could be upgraded that'd be kind of cool if they had ranking for example or through the tiers you get a different kind of thing here but these are just kind of ones you have so far um so we have our guys oh look i think there's me down there the over the ocean is my craft. Um, if I didn't mention it before, this game now uses um, player made robots as their bots rather than like the original. So someone made this dragon looking thing. So that's freaking awesome. So there's me, literally my craft. And since I have a railgun, I guess I'm gonna go up there. So this is a good way to tell like if you could defeat yourself, if your craft is good, especially if you're on the enemy team, you could, <laughs> you could fight yourself Essentially, you'd be like, oh man, I, I was actually really easy to kill. And I really am. Like, once I shoot my shield off, I'm just cake. I can just railgun through, like, my entire system. And um, I put my pilot seat right directly in the middle, so I just know my weaknesses. So, so right now, okay, here's some enemies here. I'm going to go to my rails. See, that's really what I do. I support here. Oh, look at that. That guy got, got toast. So once I hit the shield off, guys, I kind of like go forward and then I get in the range of the plasmas and I just just lay on damage. Look at that. Plasmas are crazy strong. Like people are saying plasmas are so weak. Why? Because you can't press the button once. <laughs> okay, so I held the button down for a couple moments. Okay. Plasmas are insane. They might have to watch. They might have to check the plasmas by. But the energy uses is pretty high. 
and they are kind of hard to hit. Like I said, I literally just get up in your face. Oh gosh, like I said, my shield is gone and I got knocked out super fast. Buy a plasma gun. Plasma gun was right on top. Hit me right in the middle. I should have been more aware of that, but I was too busy talking. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to really showcase how that works. And oh man, I do. That was a really good example of like why another reason why I like the shields because they can give you a little signal of where you're getting hit. See, this guy's craft is really well. Look, he's getting damaged by all three of these guys, and his hull is still holding up. So whoever built this craft, good job. Look at that. And the redundancy with the hovers is pretty good as well. Okay, now he's actually getting beat up now. He may not last too much longer. Again, he's fighting three robots here. This craft looks really, really cool. Um, seems to have Medi and SMGs, and you have the flags there. So after the fight, we're presented with this, all the pieces that we get, and of course our normal experience. I'm still not sure how experience really works in this game. I'm not sure if it's like 332, for example, divided between all of these different pieces. And uh, there's been a couple moments where the experience has gone super, super high. I cannot show you, I don't have a video of me doing it. I don't know what I did. Uh, um, I tried to experiment. I did a different mix of blocks and the experiment was successful. And I was able to get like three million experience for all of my brick blocks. So that's why all of these are maxed out. I do have a screenshot here of when I earned, I did it again and I got like 1.9 million, not as much. And it went lower and lower and lower. So that made me think, does my bot gain experience when I'm not playing? Did I mess up the math and that was just an error? Did I did I get like some kind of rested experience that I, I <laughs> that I was not aware of? So right now I do not have a flying craft. I don't think I have any footage of me using the flying stuff. I usually don't like using um the wings, but they are a little bit different than how they used to be. And they even are different than how they recently first came out. As you can see from the picture here, it looks like it was supposed to be a, intentional to be a rudder, but it was actually turned into a wing. And now they call it a small wing. So if you were to put this wing on here, it is like your big wing. And I don't really know the difference between the, these two wings or reasoning behind it. Why wouldn't you just use more wings? But as you can see here, it is just a smaller version of the wing and it cannot be placed on top and it cannot be rotated it's just left or right there so the difference between these ones these wings and the old wings is the fact that well these ones actually have the movement part built in and in the old game you had to add thrusters separately kind of like how real airplanes work in real life but these ones actually have the wings built in i'm not gonna be able to fly but just to show you how these things kind of move um, a lot of people are not liking this but I know what you guys are trying to do. You're trying to bring back the one item that I really personally think should never be in the game ever again, and that is the jet boosters. I know it's probably a hot, a hot take with you guys, but I think the jet boosters caused a lot of issues. They cause a lot of like degenerate trolley kind of builds. Just so many different weird builds, like corner snipers. You would go to the corner of the map, use one rail gun and only jet boosters to move around, and you have one block in the seat. Like, how is that really playing Robocraft? And you would just snipe. It would turn out to be one of the best builds or like these robots that were just kind of like, maybe like built of like eight blocks and then only boosters. And of course, when you when they introduce melee weapons, which I also think should not ever come back to the game. Yes, I don't think the melee weapons should come back to the game. We do now have the plasma weapons that kind of take that super close range um, burst fire, burst damage kind of roll here so why do we need to have the melee weapons and that also caused a lot of degenerate builds too when the community starts to dwindling down and then the players who are sticking around are only the ones that want to get these you know funny trolley kills and the newer players are kind of like this is kind of silly this is kind of I, I thought i was going to be building like building a craft but these guys are just a bunch of jet boosters just running into things you know and we see a lot of we've seen a lot of videos in the past of just like one melee weapon one melee craft being able to fully kill like giant megas and a mega would be literally the size of this entire base. The megas were massive, massive robots and they would just get one shot by like certain craft. I know people loved it, but that's not what the game was about. And that's kind of what hurt. It hurt the game more than it helped. And I'm actually glad that the jets have now been incorporated into the wings itself. So I hope that Free Jam or whoever creates this game will forever ignore those players asking for the um, jets to be separated because that's fine. It's fine 
the way that it is right now. I like to end it off with this pretty much saying, I don't think this game should be a 100% copy of the old Robocraft. We gotta really remember like what started the downfall of the original Robocraft is that it started to move further and further away from where it began. It became all about like loot boxes, how many special parts you can cram on, these jet trolley builds or like how to build these more egregious melee or sniper builds. The game just became what it wasn't. And then like the, the player base started to separate the newer from the old and things like that. So a lot of players were like, let's bring back the old. And the people who were asking that are literally the OG players, not the ones who helped bring it down. Quite honestly, this recent Robocraft and this Robocraft 2, I've been having the most fun in some of the matches here, just being able to like strafe and shoot and switch my guns and get some damage in and look at shields and get some healing in. All right, guys, I know that was a long video so I've been having a lot of fun in this game. I'm seeing what the devs are doing and I'm liking most of it and I hope they, they stick on the course. Be sure to go ahead and like, subscribe to the video guys. That's our only means to support right now. We don't have a Patreon or anything like that. If you guys want to help us out, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It goes a long way. Go ahead and check out our other videos. Check out these ones right here. If you like the Gundam TCG car game that's coming out, we have videos on that. If you like Gunpla and other mecha-based video games, we have some other videos on that. No life can be hard out there guys, but keep your head up, keep moving forward, and most importantly, let nothing stop you. Peace out guys.